Hi, everybody. So I have a book tonight that I'm going to read to you guys. It's called Tiki Tiki Tumbo. Now, this book is a book I've read to my son in the past, and he has liked it. And it's quite a long book, but I thought maybe you guys might like it tonight. Tiki Tiki Tumbo. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, it was a custom of all the fathers and mothers in China to give their first and honored sons great long names. But second sons were given hardly any name at all. In a small mountain village, there lived a mother who had two little sons. Her second son she called Chang, which meant little or nothing. But her first son, first and honorable son, she called Tiki Tiki Tumbo, No So Rumbo, Cherry Berry Richie, Peep Pa Pa, which meant the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. <sighs> Every morning, the mother went to wash in a little stream near her home. The two boys always wanted chatting along with her. On the bank was an old well. Don't go near the well, warned the mother, or you will surely fall in. The boys did not always mind their mother, and one day they were playing beside the well and one and on the well when Ching fell in. Uh oh. Uh. Tiki Tiki Tumbo No So Rumbo Cherry Berry Rich Pea Pumbo ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to his mother and said, Most honorable mother, Chang has fallen into the well. The water rose, little blossom. I cannot hear you, said the mother. Then Tiki Tumbo No So Rumbo Cherry Berry Rich Pea Pumbo raised his voice and cried, Oh, most humble one, Chang has fallen into the well. The troubling some boy answered the mother, run and get the old man with the ladder to fish him out. And Tiki Tiki Tumbo No So Rumbo Cherry Berry Rich Pea Pumbo ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to the old man with the ladder and said, old man with the ladder, train has fallen into the well. Will you come and fish him out? So said the old man with the ladder. Jane has fallen to the well. As he ran as fast as his old legs could carry him, step over step, step over step, he went into the well, picked up the little train, and stepped over step, stepped over step, and brought him out of the well. He pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him and pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him and soon Chang was just as good as ever. Now for several months the boy did not go near the well, but after the festival of eight moons they ran to the well to eat their rice crackers. <sighs> They ate near the well, they played around the well, they walked out the well, and Tiki tum tiki, tiki Tumbo, No So Rumbo, Cherry Berry Rich Bee Pumbo fell into the well. <sighs> Fang ran as fast as his little legs to carry him to his mother and said, Oh, most vulnerable mother, Tiki Tiki Tumbo, No So Rumbo, Cherry Berry Rich Bee Pumbo has fallen into the well. But rather, Rose, little one, I cannot hear you. So little Chang took a deep breath. Oh, mother most honorable, he panted. Tiki Tiki Tumbo, no so rumbo, cherry berry rich bee pumbo, has fallen into the well. Tiresome child, what are you trying to say? said his mother. Honorable mother, cherry berry rumbo, tiki tiki, has he gasped, baby has fallen into the well. Unfortunate son, surely the evil spirits have bewitched your tongue. Speak your brother's name with reverse. Poor little Chang was all out of breath from saying that giant long name, and he didn't think he could say it one more time, but then he thought of his brother in the old vow. <sighs> Thank you.
Fang bowed his little head clear to the sand, took a deep breath, and slowly, very slowly said, Most honorable mother, Tiki Tiki Tumbo, No So Rumbo, Cherry Berry Rich Pea Bumbo is at the bottom of the well. Oh, not my first and honorable son. Hairs of all I possess? Run quickly and tell the old man with the ladder that your brother has fallen into the well. <clears throat> So Chang ran as fast as his little legs to carry him to the old man with the ladder under the tree. The old man with the ladder sat bowed and silent. Old man, old man, shouted Chang. Come right away. Tiki, tiki, tumbo, no so rumbo, cherry berry, rich bee, pumbo, has fallen into the stone well. <sighs> hmm. But there was no answer. Puzzled, he waited. Then with his very last breath, Bit of breath, he shouted, Oh man with the ladder! Tiki tiki tumbo, no so rumbo, cherry berry rich pea pumbo is at the bottom of the well. Miserable child, you disturbed my dream. I have floated into a purple mist and found my youth again. There were gatherings, great ways, and jewels, jeweled blossom. If I could close my eyes, perhaps I will again return. Poor little Chang was frightened. How could he say that giant long name again? Please, old man with the ladder, please help my brother out of the cold well. So said the old man with the ladder, your mother's precious pearl has fallen into the well. <sighs> the old man with the ladder hurried as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well and step over step, step over step out of the well with the little boy in his arm. Then he pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him and pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him. But little Tiki Tiki Tumbo, no so rumbo, cherry berry rich bee Pumbo had been in the water so long all because of his great long name that the moon rose many times before he was quiet the same again. And from that day to this, the Chinese have always thought it was wise to give all their children little short names instead of giant long names. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story tonight. Now, if there's a book or story you guys would like me to hear, please leave me a comment below. Please tell your friends to watch my videos. Please subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.